Welcome to this introduction video of the Creo Advanced Assembly extension. So this extension will help you improve your productivity when working with assemblies and give you the functionality to control your design from a central location. So when we work this way we create a skeleton model that sits in the assembly and that captures your main driving design parameters in that model and all that information is then shared to the individual components at a lower level everything is controlled then from a central location using the skeleton model and the skeleton model will then allow you to make a change on that model and you don't need to go and open up each and the individual components to make the change in your assembly other team members working on the data at a lower level also cannot change those models that are driven from the top level assembly so as an example to show that in this assembly we've got a skeleton assembly some skeleton components that is created from the top level where the information is shared to a lower level and we will then have a design component the rod part in this example that is driven from that skeleton model so the information is copied from the skeleton using the copy geometry and all the features are then built referencing that skeleton model so the user at the lower level that's creating that component cannot change that skeleton from this level it can only be done from the main skeleton if we go back to the main skeleton and then change the dimension of that component it will then update the skeleton model the moment you regenerate and if you go to the actual component itself the skeleton of that item will then also update and if we go to the component detail of that you'll immediately see the length of that part is also updated without me having to go and change anything in that part so this allows you to control everything from the top level and all the users will automatically have their data updated as they're designing the components another example where this can be used is in the skeleton using it as a motion skeleton so if you need to design a skeleton you need to make sure that everything moves correctly there's no interference in the components so instead of designing all the details of the component and then assembling them and then realizing that it, the mechanism is not going to work we could use these basic skeleton models set up the connections between them and you can see with the changes i've made i can easily see there is some interference so if i go and make the changes in that skeleton to make sure the mechanism will work correctly you will then later on see that all the components that's linked to that will also update so it's a quick and easy way to make sure that your mechanism works before you go into the detailed design of all the components after i've made the changes if i go and drag the component there's no interference if i then go back to my detail components and sh show them you'll see they've also updated if you add more features everything is linked to that and you know the mechanism is going to work as it should the next bit is using the scenario where you've got a component in the design so you have one of those three components that you need to swap out using the advanced assembly option it's as simple as selecting the item and right clicking it and replacing it by the interchange assembly and the interchange assembly is a separate assembly where all the components is positioned next to each other and you can easily go and select the item it picks up all the references that was used from the top down and from the bottom up to that component it will automatically replace those in your assembly and the model updates so if you need more information on the advanced assembly and what else it can do and how it can benefit your business please feel free to contact us at Eneo and we can help you with that thank you